Does that create a problem? You mean for bo uh, both of us being here or what? What? Oh, well, there were... Uh, I don't, it doesn't matter. Why doesn't Senator, why don't you go first? No, you go ahead. Roll radio. Somebody wrong? Sound up. Senator, would you like to explain what this does? Yeah, this bill seeks to remedy the greatest failure in all of our poverty efforts. The failure really to involve and rely on the private enterprise system, which is the basic strength of this nation. By failing to involve the private sector, we have not only ignored the potential contribution of millions of talented and energetic Americans and tens of thousands of productive enterprises, but more dangerous, an enterprise wishing to avail itself of the bill's provisions will select a site in a poverty area or on an Indian reservation in cooperation with the city and the federal government and the local community affected. The company will agree to create at least 50 new jobs to fill at least two-thirds of all of these jobs with people from the poverty area or the unemployed, and to maintain this investment for at least 10 years. In return for that effort, it will receive tax credits against its investment in plant and machinery, accelerated depreciation schedules for that investment, extra deductions for wages paid to uh, previously unemployed persons, a liberal carry-forward and carry-back allowances, and assistance in training new workers. It will, in other words, be a, an effort for the first time to bring the private enterprise system into the great poverty areas of the United States. The reason our programs have not been effective, and in my judgment not successful over the period of the last several decades, is because the private enterprise system has not been brought and not been brought to be involved. This is an effort along those lines, and I think it can be successful. Senator Kennedy, you could you, uh, could Senator? Uh, if you read yours, and then, then we can go. Well, I just might say that this is a um, new approach to a very old problem. Senator Kennedy has outlined um, in a very specific way what the uh, proposal would do. It creates no federal bureaucracy. It simply creates jobs. And it uses the tax resources of the federal government to provide a, provide a catalyst, not control. Local control is maintained. And it'll provide it at very little uh, public expense for the credits and the accelerated depreciation and the deductions which would be provided would be compensated for by reduced uh, welfare payments, by new taxes on higher earnings, and by increased um, industrial capacity. What do you estimate the tax loss would be, the cost? Under this program, there wouldn't be a tax loss to the United States government. It's one of the attractions of the of the program. First, as uh, uh, Senator Pearson has said, it's not going to create a new uh, bureaucracy within the federal government. And secondly, it's not going to be a cost to the federal government. If the program is effective and if it's used, it's going to bring a return to the Treasury, a return to the city governments and the state governments. It's going to take people off welfare and it's going to uh, expand the job opportunities for tens of thousands of our fellow citizens. Senator Kennedy, doesn't this really just add up to a drop in the bucket as far as creating uh, wage earners out of uh, welfare Not recipients? a bit. No, no, not a bit. Can you estimate how many welfare recipients would be taken off welfare rolls? Oh, I don't think you can estimate that. It's if the, uh, if the private enterprise system works in any part of our economy, uh, it can work here. So it's, uh, there's no limit to uh, what can be done. It's n there's no limit to uh, what can be done in all of these communities where there's unemployed or underemployed. Well, they can expand you know, uh, without uh, any limitation whatsoever. You don't feel that the welfare rolls are filled with people who don't want to work? No, I think that's, uh, we've established that that's not true. There's a good number of uh, broken families on welfare. And uh, this is going to enable the husband, the father, the man in the house to find work to give himself, find dignity for himself, and uh, establish a future for his family. That's what's been missing, and the welfare rolls continue to grow, and the expense of welfare continues to grow, and it's demeaning to the recipient and uh, unacceptable to the giver, and so it's an unacceptable situation here in this country. We have to get away from it, and the way to get away from it is really to provide jobs, and uh, this is an effort to provide jobs, and not just by 
the federal government giving direction, the federal government making a decision, but it's through the private enterprise system with the federal government giving encouragement to the private enterprise system. And I think that the reason we haven't made more progress in the past is because we haven't utilized the private sector. Isn't it a bit callous, though, Senator, to say the only way we can get rid of the situation is to make it profitable to someone else? No, I don't think so. Uh, not a bit. Uh, I think uh, there are a lot of people that are doing things because uh, they want to help their neighbor and, and help others. But uh, we could get much more done if it's found to be uh, attractive, if we can uh, develop a system which will bring uh, jobs to uh, in a much larger degree than they have in the past uh, to those who are under underemployed or unemployed. Senator, in the past, the Treasury Department's been less than enthusiastic about tax incentive plans such as yours. What makes you feel that the Treasury Department's going to take a brighter view this time? Or will they? Would you want to answer? Well, we understand that, um, that the Treasury Department has um, systematically opposed these uh, proposals. We just simply hope to prove to them, in this case, based on the tax incentive, 7% uh, uh, tax incentive, the tax cut in 1964, that this is going to be best for the national economy. Well, could, could, could I add this? To add to that the, the fact that uh, all of the programs, with one exception, uh, which is deals with the 25% uh, uh, 25% uh, deduction, increase of 25% deduction for salaries, right. all of them are, have precedence within uh, the uh, tax code. So all we're doing is suggesting that the uh, tax code that exists at the present time, which gives these kind of incentives to other parts of our industry, uh, be utilized uh, to help the poor and help the underemployed and unemployed. But have you had any indication from Treasury that they might look more benevolently on this? Well, we've talked to a lot of people within uh, the government and uh, uh, who are formerly within the government and who uh, look upon this with a good deal of enthusiasm. But I think that each one would have to speak for themselves personally. Senator Kennedy, you refer in your speech to uh, great failures in our existing poverty programs and you talk about sending a platoon to do the work of an army. Don't you think that your speech and your suggested legislation will be considered an attack on the great society programs? No. Will you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> Senator, or should I, I uh, should I do it more seriously? <laughs> That's up to you. <laughs> Senator, it's been the general trend of business to move away from concentrated uh, population areas. Have you any assurances that business is willing to move back in and that they will cooperate in a program like this? Yes, we reviewed this with uh, with businessmen, uh, a large number of businessmen. And, uh, and of course, we had our hearings last year where David Rockefeller and others testified before the committee that business would be willing to do so, but they had to have uh, some incentive and some cooperation from the federal government. Being done, or do you hope that this will replace some aspect of the poverty program that's now in progress? No, it's an addition. As, uh, you know, I've, as I said in my statement, uh, I support the work that's been done. I support the efforts that were made by President Kennedy. I support the efforts that were made by and ha are being made by President Johnson and the administration and uh, also those stimulated by the legislative branch of the government. But uh, I think that we need more and uh, we're looking for new answers and uh, I think that this is an important uh, solution. Uh, and uh, I think that if, if this is put into effect, it uh, will be an important supplement, a vital supplement, an essential supplement to what we're doing at the moment. Senator, aren't you running up against widespread feeling in the Congress that job programs just don't knock people off welfare rolls? I well, mean, I think that what they chances do, do you think your well, bill has? Well, of course, has? I think that they do knock them off welfare rolls, but uh, we haven't had that kind of a job program uh, 